Hey Rockhead family, today we've come to Montville, Connecticut, to one of my favorite places in the whole world. This is the a and Rock and Fossil Shop. And believe me, in a minute we're going to go inside and you're going to see just why exactly it is my favorite place, one of my favorite places in the whole world. So sit tight, it's kind of cold out here, we're going to go and get inside and check this place out. Come on. Already you can see, this is our kind of place. Love this place. Of course, I'm speaking through a mask. So, if I sign kind of muffled, excuse. Look at these great pieces. Look at that calcite. Beautiful amethyst. And for those of you into this, fossil scene, dinosaurs and stuff, it's bone galore. It's a great piece of amethyst. I still have to buy my daughter. I still owe her a piece of amethyst, so I'm still on the lookout. Look at these wonderful rows. Look at the pyrite pieces. Everything that you would want as a rock hound is here. Now I said earlier, that I was going to talk to you about the importance of rock shops. That in the Rockhead community. Rock shops are important because, first of all, there's a misconception in the rock hound community that you have to go out and dig for your rocks to be a rock hound. And that is so untrue. Because many people don't have the ability, one way or the other sometimes, to get out to go and dig for uh, rocks and minerals. So they're called the rock shops. Come to the rock shops and find the things that you like and whatever catches your eye. Another thing about rock shops is that I advise all up and coming rock hounders and even those that have been rock hounding a long time come to the rock shops because a lot of rocks and minerals they just don't have in your area they're in whole other countries and there's no way that you can get to them but even if you do go out and dig your own rocks and minerals some things you're not familiar with you don't know what they look like or what they feel like you've seen them in books and sometimes with the books you can't get a good you, you can't touch them you can't feel them to know exactly what they look like so you go to a rock shop and they have these things and then you can see them you can touch them you can feel them and see exactly what it is that you're looking for Is that for anybody? That was the road of that love stone right there. The stone of love, rather. Those big points up there. Force points. Dinosaur heads. In case you're in collecting. Slabs. I think those are maggots. 
slabs. Big dinosaur bones or replica of the dinosaur bones. Once again, can never get enough of the quartz. Because there's amethyst. Carnelian, polished. Here's your citrine. Chevron, Amethyst, Angelite, Tiger Eye Slabs, there's your Red Jasper, Zebra Stone, Crystal Praise, Crystal Praise. This is the calcite. Beautiful calcite. Blue Lepidite. I mean, you can really fall in love in this place. If you're a rock hound, this is where it's at. Love all the different stones. I'm not gonna say all those names, I'm just gonna let you see those names. A muscovite. I'm an obsidian, but I'm gonna let you see for yourself. All of them are sample size if you're a collector. To add to your collection. Sample size and in the boxes. There's your selenite. Here's your uh, Himalayan salt. Hey, how you doing? This is a soda light piece. Only nine dollars. There's a wolf and from Morocco. Gotta admit, some of this stuff I've never even heard of. Creedite. Well, there's over 3,000 different kinds of rocks and minerals, so haven't heard of everything. Those pieces of pie, right? Here's those $3 pieces. Look at those $3 pieces of calcite. Honey calcite, green calcite, blue calcite, coral calcite. It's like three bucks. A $3 piece to add to your collection. It's not bad, a $3 piece. Oh, coral calcite. Beautiful honey calcite. Check this as right. Spotlight on calcite. There's some smoky quartz points. This is one of the things I like about this place. They have stands where you get to display your finds. 
all kinds of different stands you can display up put your stones up cases small cases you can put your best stones in now that's something i have to admit i don't see at a many rock shops some uh lighted rotary uh stands you can put your uh, calcite on them or anything you know shines and twirls i mean if you really want to put your stones on display they have the stuff there you can see they have tools for the rock hounder rock hounding tools rock tumblers for kids everything that you could want two dollar pieces of uh, i believe it's calcite so again, some mini agate slices. Argonite. Bunches of fossils. Oh, petrified wood here. Nice slab of petrified wood. More petrol. Red tigers up. Okay. But some is some pieces are rough, like this pulp pyrite Mukai It's like Jasper Wow look at these big jump geodes down here Large geodes for you to crack some beautiful uh, quartz inside. Medium size. Geo to you crack. It says it has blue quartz inside. Ha! Ah. That's gotta be something else. And then we have the small ones. Purple quartz. That's great. You can get over that big dinosaur. Old dinosaur. That big guy. Right in the middle of the shop. Scroll. Tourmaline mix. If you're ever in Connecticut, you should check out the A and Z uh, rock and mineral uh, and fossil shop. Guaranteed to be satisfied. They're guaranteed to have what it is you're looking for. Trust me. Hey. If you enjoyed our little visit to AZ Mineral Shop, you can check out this and our other happenings by joining our Facebook group, New York Rockheads. You can also see other adventures by joining our YouTube channel, New York Rockheads.